Welcome back to Resale Mania. Welcome back to another all day thrifting trip. We are starting off at Rethink Thrift. Let's run in here and see what we can find to flip for a profit. All right, looks like they've gotten some new games in. Have to dig through these really quickly. See if anything catches my eye. All right, for now, I'm just gonna put the cart in, or the stack in the cart and then look them up in a bit. Cause I haven't been here in a while. And I've got stuff to research, like this. Okay, these are not worth it. They're only worth like 10 a piece and, you know. So this might surprise some of you guys, but some of these Phillips Norelco razors came sell for pretty good money. This one's seven, and I'm guessing this is like a $30 model. I will look it up though. Hello, Hank. And here's a nice little fossil wallet for nine. Really nice, good condition, but I don't really want to pay nine. But here's a Fire King mug. I've never found Fire King before. Now it's got like a little crack on the bottom, it looks like. Huh? Yeah, that's crack. So after scanning all the games, I'm only getting two of them. I'm getting Street Fighter FX, which goes for like 25. And this uh, Gradius game goes for like 30 to 35. So for six a piece, they're worth it. These go for like between 10 and 15 a piece. So maybe on half off day, I'll get them. But um, for now, at six, I'm gonna put them back. Down here are some Solomon shoes. These ones are base price of five, so I will get these, even though they're a bit dirty. Let's see, these are 10. I'm not sure why these are more. I might still get these because I have a five dollar off coupon. These are the nicest, but they are 17. I don't want to pay 17 for those. If those ones make it to half off, I'll get them. And but yeah, for now I'm gonna leave them. But I will get these too. Digging through the clothes and found a few great items. Still looking, we'll go over them in a bit. I right, got a cart full of clothing, and I guess I am gonna get these boots. She said, oh, shoes are gonna be half off today. So I will get these for $8.50. They're probably worth like $45. Okay, let's go over some of the awesome clothing finds. Each, everything's $2.50 except for one jacket, which is 10. I got these Sims fishing pants. Sims is a great brand. Those will probably sell for 25 to 30. Nice little North Face soft gel, soft shell uh, Apex jacket. Easy 25. This is a Lululemon, like, you know, cowl neck, fuzzy sweater. And there's another Lulu. You didn't see that. Another Lulu hoodie. This one's the $10 one. Really nice, fuzzy. Should go for like 40. And I don't know how well Miss Me hoodies do. I know the jeans do well, fairly well. But uh, yeah, a little Miss Me hoodie. Uh, it's like a floral, you know, linen feel. That should go for like at least 20, I would assume. But some really good clothing finds that fell on the floor. And yeah, and the boots. So really good stop and just gonna go look outside. I almost missed these. These are so muck, muck boots make, you know, rain muck boots. But these are shoes. I didn't know they made shoes. They're gonna be five. Pretty good condition. Just a little, you know, need to be cleaned up a bit. I'm guessing those should be worth at least 25. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. All right, $68 spent on the first go around. I've set you there. We're gonna go through this stuff quickly and then I'm gonna go dig through the new donation pile because she gave me permission. And there's a lot of stuff. So hopefully we find something else good. You saw all the pairs of Solomons I got. Just some great finds, some great clothing finds. Nothing new to show you there. I ended up not looking up the uh, Phillips Norelco razor. I figured it would be worth it. These boots are in really good condition, just a little dirty. Those, honestly, they have Gore-Tex. They might go for 60. You'll see comps, the Lululemon jackets, and the muck shoes. Now let's go dig through the boxes of goodies and see if we can find something else. All right, so first little find is this Katarina Lucci like shoulder bag. It's a nice leather bag. I mean, comps are kind of all over the place. I didn't find the exact one. Just did a brief search and looks like I could possibly get 50, maybe more. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab her. Okay guys, we have hit the absolute clothing jackpot. Like I came here today thinking, okay, I'm not gonna buy a lot of clothing. I don't like clothing, but holy cow. This all came out of one big black bag and there are just some insane finds in here. So before we get into the rest of the clothing, I just pulled this out. V Viormi? Vormi? Vormi? I don't know how to say it. I never heard of it, but I looked it up. Used. 190, 180, 120, 
80, 100, 100, 145. Holy cow. That is insane. A few hard goods. So I opened up a box down at the bottom. I had to dig for it, but I found three of these uh, climbing harnesses. Rock climbing stuff is a huge bolo, something you want to look out for. Black Diamond especially, that is a very big name brand. I'm not sure about these other two, but I know all climbing gear is extremely, extremely expensive. So I'm going to get all that. And then Garment is a really good brand. These are like, I'm not even really sure, but I know Garment's a great, great brand. These are like new replacements for bottom of, bottoms of skis. So I am going to get those probably you know at least 20 bucks maybe more but overall we are doing fantastic all right i'll try to make this fast because there's a lot of clothing 71 dollars spent on everything got the purse got the three harnesses which you should see comps on the screen i've never seen harnesses that look like this but they're nice so i took a chance i got this little like skiing grateful dead corduroy hat it's new 37.95 and yeah i'll probably just put that on whatnot because it's cool so, you guys saw the, this jacket, the Vurmi, sells for like a hundred bucks. Got a kid's Patagonia jacket, nothing crazy, 25. Some Piranha jeans, really good condition, should go for 20. Some new with tags, Athleta leggings, and yeah, these should go for probably 25 to 30. I got a bunch of Lululemon t-shirts, uh, like one, two, three three t-shirts by lululemon two athleta t-shirts a little patagonia hoodie some piranha sweatpants which these might be for myself because they are really nice some kids like patagonia swim shorts nothing crazy maybe 12 to 15 a patagonia hoodie and all of this came out of the same bag which is insane oh so this is a good one Armani Exchange and Armani, Armani Exchange jacket. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much I'll get for it, but I'm guessing 50, maybe more. A what is this? Did I mean to grab whatever? Oh, I did. This might be the best find. Actually, no. The hundred dollar jacket is Smart Wool. Smart Wool is an amazing brand. You can always tell it's Smart Wool by these little stripes here on the collar. This is like a sixty dollar hoodie. Some Allo A L O sweatpants those are easily 30 bucks and some carhartt jeans really really good condition like new almost those are at least 30. i bought this for myself this cool little like uh marble lamp i got this for whatnot this little tile you know it's just kind of cool cool little piece and the garment ski bottoms so with that just insane 71 plus 68 about 140 bucks for all of this absolutely incredible okay next stop is goodwill we had to park in the wendy's parking lot though because the goodwill lot fills up way too quickly it's also just a really small lot in general first find in the men's shoes are these vasque boots for 10 bucks those are probably 50 bucks up here are some nike vapor max for eight Ooh, these might be a huge score have to look more into them Next up, some dance goes. These are men's dance go shoes. They are six bucks. Should go for like 25 to 30. Right now I'm just throwing stuff in the cart and then I'll look it up here in a bit. Some of these electric drum sets can be really good. Just like these bad boys can. TI-73 Explorer. I have never heard of this model. Four bucks though, we're gonna have to look it up. I, it looks just like a TI-84 Plus. That's what I thought it was at first, but definitely not. And we are just filling up the cart with stuff to look up right now. Huh. I feel like I'm at the Amazon bin store. What is this? Wireless mouse. Mm, there's only 30 new. See, stuff like this, the weird stuff that looks, you know, weird, tends to be the most valuable, That which is what I've noticed. I'll find random things like that, look it up, and it's worth a ton of money. So we'll put that in the cart as well. A lot of new stuff out today. Hmm. Put this in the lookup pile as well. 
All right, so in the bags, I was bamboozled. I found this bag, which I'm gonna look up. But man, I saw the T on the zippers and I thought this was to me for a second, but it's not. It's just a, it's a phony, a big old faker phony. All right, so what I came to look up was this Aaron's Goods, Aaron Leather Goods duffel bag, just really nice bag. It's 15 though, and just doesn't seem to sell very well. Such good like quality though, so I'm kind of surprised. I, I don't know. So I'm gonna leave it behind for 15. I could maybe get like 45, but just a slow seller. I should probably go over all the clothing that's in my cart because you didn't see me get this. This came off a new rack. So Avalanche isn't a brand I typically pick up, but it's new with tags for seven. So I will. I gotta look this up. I'm pretty sure this is a good brand, but I don't remember. The brand is Stoic, but this is a huge score. Carhartt lined jacket for $7. Just insane find. All right, before we look this stuff up, I'm gonna head to the women's shoes and make sure we're not missing out on anything scrumptious. Just pulled these women's New Balance 574s off the shelf for $7.99. Good model, good colorway, should sell for like $30. Uh, if these Kings weren't having paint peeling off, these would be worth six. These usually sell for like 25 to 30, but they're just a little too, a little too worn. Now this is a expensive prank. It's 10 bucks, but this thing is huge. I am gonna try to prank my dog, Hank. See if he freaks out with this. It'll be funny. I'll put a clip in there after I leave the store. This is why you cannot trust Goodwill. This. I looked it up. It's worth $130 used, $175 new. Right? But it's taped up, so I'm like, let me open it and make sure. It's an empty box. Come on, Goodwill. Do better. Even with that empty cart, um, empty box, we have done so insanely good, guys. So good. Like, we're gonna go over everything in the car, but maybe a thousand dollar stop. Who knows? I found this bag right here. It's sixty dollars, full of Bose equipment that we will go over in the car. Okay, it's very windy. Hopefully, it's not messing with the sound. I'll try to make it quick. You got, I got all the shoes you saw. I spent $137 even. Uh, I got, and that includes the $10 dog, which is gonna be used to scare my other dogs. So this is brand new, this Heim Vision uh, security system. Brand new in box, sells for like 100. This like a uh, PC mount sells for about 50. But the Bose, the huge score is this Bose that's paid, 60, paid 64. Comes with two of these speakers. Uh, these are for vehicles. These sell for 50 a piece. And then they, it comes with two of these bigger ones that sell for 50 a piece. And surprisingly, even these small ones, I got two of these as well. They sell for 50 a piece. But the big winner that made me buy it was this Bose piece. Don't even know what it is, but it sells for $200. So what is that? 60 bucks into roughly 500 absolutely insane oh hey where is it uh that sony thing you guys saw me pick up she put it in the bag this paid 7.99 for the sony hd radio sells for 150 bucks absolutely insane got the car hearts got all that just insane stop roughly a thousand dollars from 130. hank come bye hank I was hoping you'd get scared. What is that? Who is that, Hank? You Who is that? Oh. Who is that? <laughs> okay. You scared you so much. <laughs> right. What is that? Oh my goodness. I was hoping he was going to like bark. No, he's like, this is a new toy. He's your pet. You're like, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Hank, oh, who is that? He's loving it. Oh, no, he's not. All right, it was anticlimactic, but it's okay. Right. Third stop of today's thrifting trip is Four Corners Thrift. All right, first finds this little like baggie with five bucks. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's Apple branded. It says iPod Silly. I'm guessing that's gonna be worth five. We'll look it up in a bit though. <laughs> little like recycling bin pencil holder. It's cool. In the shoes are some men's Keen sandals for eight. Uh, tomorrow's half off day. Obviously, they might not be here tomorrow. I mean, overall, pretty good condition. These sell pretty well for like 30. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them. And down here, some Hey Dudes for six. Lined. 
yeah, those are going to be a buy for six. I almost missed these. These are such an easy brand to overlook. Kizik. Kizik's a good brand. For 10, you should go for like 45. So here's something I know absolutely nothing about. Cabbage Patch dolls. They're seven bucks a piece. That one's six. And I don't know how much that one is. I'm not going to get them though. Because uh, I know nothing about them. I don't know how to tell which ones are good or not. Let me know. Are those worth the seven and six? All right, so they usually mark up this rack of clothing. These cool hiking pants are 10, but they're in great condition, and this model sells for like 40 with cool. Most of the time, they have a model on the inside. Like, uh, you open it up on the inside of the pants. This one is the cool silencer. You just look that up, and it'll come right up. And yeah, these sell for like 40 bucks pretty consistently. And in case you guys saw some Gucci pants or jeans, I highly doubt they are real, and they want 40 yeah, there's, there's just no way. Let me just look it up, but I doubt it. So if they're real, it'd be worth 40. They sell for like 150. But I just I have no way of knowing. I mean, they're not bad quality by any means. Each little thing says Gucci on it. Hmm. These honestly might be, they might be real. Man, 40 bucks though is a lot to risk, and I don't know how I would authenticate them. After some more research, I decided to leave the jeans behind. Some stitching just didn't line up, so it looked a little sketchy, so I left them. I ended up putting back the Keens and the Kizix just because of condition. If they're here tomorrow and half off day, I'll get them. And I'm coming here tomorrow for half off day anyways, because there are some really nice boot deals. These are some Red Wings, which... Or 20, actually, I might get those today. But these, Zamberlin, and I just made a sale. Zamberlin's a fantastic brand, so those will be worth it for 30 on half off. See, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow anyways. Okay, so after looking up these Red Wing boots, I am going to get them for 20 right now because, I mean, even though they're missing laces and just kind of dirty, this model sells for like 100 to 150 So for 20 that is a no-brainer. Alrighty, stop three was a success. I spent $40 on everything here. Uh, the cool pants should get me the majority of the money back. The red wings should go for, you know, 80 to 100 once I clean them up. Maybe 120. And the hey dudes. Oh, the Apple, the Apple thing? It's the Apple iPod Shuffle Gen 1. Not worth a crazy, but much crazy amount of money. Worth like 20 bucks, but very lightweight, easy to pack. You know, I'll take it. It's starting to rain, but we are now downtown Bozeman at Saks Community Thrift Store. Okay, first find of the stops, and I, oh, I didn't see the $7.50, I thought that said $1.50. I'm going to leave this behind for $7.50. If it was $1.50, I'd get it. These iClicker 2 sell for roughly $20. Bucks. So, typically not something I'd pick up, but it's only $0.25, cents and new with tags. A little Disney monster, or no. Ah. Uh, Oh my gosh, I can't think of what movie this is, but 25 cents, I'll take it. Some Brooks Adrenaline 22s for seven. Here's a little Sims Polo, and it's only three bucks, but it's got the little embroidery on it, but I don't think that really matters because it's a fishing shirt and, you know, fish, I don't think anyone's going to care too much. I don't know, for three bucks, I think I'll get it. All right, so this isn't something I'd pick up. Tip, I mean, I would pick it up typically. This Ariat button down, but I wouldn't pick it up for nine typically. But purple is half off, so it's only four fifty. So I will take it. So there's this Kipling backpack. Kipling's a good brand. It's just a little beat up, and it's eight. I do have a five dollar off card full, so maybe I'll use it on this. Mm. Oh, it looks from comps like I can get like thirty. For it. It's very lightweight, so I think I'll take it. Okay, it's officially raining, so I couldn't film myself uh, going through stuff, but I spent $18 even in there. Pretty good, nothing crazy, just a bunch of bread and butter stuff. But I mean, for $18, like each item will make me its money back on its own. The Brooks, once I clean them up, should go for like $30, $35, so I'll take it. With that, I'm going to wrap up today's thrifting trip, guys. We found some amazing stuff. Remember, don't trust Goodwill. Open boxes even if they're taped because they, they're they lazy sometimes. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.